On the last episode of Hops Gnarly Brewing, I made a Midwest fruit tart, and it turned out pretty good. But I can't stop thinking about that example from Urban Artifact. Quite frankly, I miss having it in my mouth. It was so thick and fruity and clean. A beer that good deserves a second try. So let's make some beer. For this beer, I'm starting with some local spring water and I'm adding some water salts to craft the perfect water profile. If you wanna make great beer, this is an important step. In this case, I need to offset the viscosity and sweetness of the fruit we're gonna add, so I'm going with a water profile that makes it feel more dry. For the grain bill, I'm keeping things super simple with 86% proximity pale malt and the rest is flaked oats. Well, I've done it again. Forgot the f grain basket. Okay, just pretend you didn't see that. I'll keep mashing this in until everything is nice and saturated, then I'll start a one hour timer. And after a few minutes, I can pull a sample to check the pH. If it's too high, I'll just make an adjustment with some lactic acid. After an hour of recirculation, it's up to 170 Fahrenheit or about 77 Celsius for 10 minutes for mash out. All right, we just finished our mash out step. Time to yank these grains and get our boil started. this boil is to kill any yeast or bacteria that might be in the wort in preparation for the quick sour process. Now that we're up to full boil, I'm going to sanitize my plate chiller, add some yeast nutrient, and drop the pH down to 4.5 using lactic acid. That's 15 minutes, so it's time to chill the wort down and transfer to a fermenter for quick souring. You can get by using your kettle for this step, but it's pretty hard to beat a purpose-built fermenter for, well, fermentation. Also, it's a good idea to set aside some of this wort for your yeast starter. fermenter, I'm adding a teeny tiny bit of manganese, then here's some lactobacillus plantarum down the hatch. It'll hang out here in this mini fridge set to 75 Fahrenheit or about 24 Celsius for the next few days until we reach a pH of 3.4. Yeah, we've hit 3.4 and it's perfectly tart. Let's tip this into the kettle and get started with the actual boil. Okay, 
We're up to a full boil and it's time for the one and only hop addition. Here's 10 grams of Hollertau Blanc, which should bring us up to about 14 IBUs. From here on out, it's just boil and stir. Boil and stir. Boil and stir. Boil and stir. <clears throat> We've got 15 minutes left in the boil. Time to sanitize the chiller. I'm also adding some yeast nutrient and a Whirlflock tablet. And just like that, it's time to chill the wort down and get ready for fermentation. As we get close to pitching temps, I'm oxygenating the wort with pure oxygen and transferring to a fermenter, which in this case is a five gallon keg. For this beer, I'm going with Loki by Imperial Yeast, which is a Vosk Fike strain, and I'm going to ferment it at room temperature under a couple pounds of pressure. After the peak of fermentation, it's time to add some fruit. For this three gallon batch, I'm going with 4.4 pounds of pink guava puree that I ordered online from Fierce Fruit. After a quick jostle, I'll just let this hang out until we hit final gravity. Here it is coming right out of the bonus tap on my kegerator. I've been thinking about this beer for weeks now and check out that color. Right when I smelled this thing, I knew I was gonna like it. The aroma is pure tart guava and it's noticeably clean, not a trace of yeast character. And the flavor is unreal. I honestly can't believe I made this beer. Looking back, I think there are two things that I did differently this time that made a huge difference. First, last time I used fresh fruit and this time I used that fierce fruit puree. That made a huge difference in the body and the flavor of the beer. Just make sure you get a high quality puree. The second thing is using low key under pressure. When you take all the yeast character out of the picture, you're left with pure fruity goodness and that's exactly what you want with this style. This episode was made possible by these awesome partners and you guys. Welcome to season four. I wish you guys could try this beer with us. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see us brew and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.